At the beginning of the computing age, there wasn't really the concept of proprietary software. Programmers thought intuitively that the code was just as important as the function that it gave. And the separation happened much later. So I'm going to be talking about open source, how it was created, and why it matters today. First, I'm going to be talking about how open source formally started with Richard Stallman and the Free Software Project. Then, I'm going to be talking about how Firefox and Linux pioneered open source and showed the world that it works. <clears throat> Lastly, I'm going to be talking about how some of the biggest companies use and profit off open source today. So, it wasn't until companies, it wasn't until people started closing up software that there was a need for open source. Open source formally started with Richard Stallman and the Free Software Project, but there wasn't really a need for open source until companies started closing up code, before companies like Microsoft started licensing code and releasing software without source code. There wasn't a need for an open source license. Part of this was programmers just wanted to share code. And another part was companies initially didn't see the value in software. They thought that all the money was in hardware. One of the first programmers to realize Keep going. One of the first programmers to realize the need for an open source license was Richard Stallman, who created the GPL, or the General Public License. And he introduced to the world the idea of copyleft, which means that if I give my code, my idea to somebody, and give them the right to modify it, to improve it, and to share it with others, that anyone that they share it to also has those same rights. Companies were intrigued by the idea, and they started projects that used open source. So soon claims were made that open source increased productivity, improved development, bug fixing, and made the end product better. Firefox and Linux were among the first project, projects to use these to use open source and show the world that it did work. Linux showed people a cheap, fast alternative to other proprietary operating systems. Companies found that this free operating system was, re was a reliable and quick alternative to AT&T or other Unixes, which cost as much as $10,000. Companies like Google now use Linux, not because it's free, but because, it, but because of its speed and efficiency. Firefox helped keep innovation in the web alive. At the beginning of the internet, Netscape was king. But then Microsoft introduced IE, and they both fought for market share. And in this competition, a lot of new features were created. However, Microsoft was free. However, IE was free and soon took well over 90% of the market. And when that happened, innovation stopped. Microsoft had no reason to fix bugs or improve their product, and so they didn't. Netscape saw this, and so they created the nonprofit organization Mozilla on Firefox to keep the web alive. Today there's many browsers, and much more even distribution of market share, and even IE has gone under considerable improvements. So even if you never used one of the open source projects, you benefit from the speed and efficiency that the web has to serve rich content. So, after Firefox and Linux set the path, many other companies followed suit and profited off open source. Today, some of the biggest companies use some of the, some of the biggest companies and organizations use and profit off open source. Most of the top internet sites run on open source technology. Facebook and Google both run off Linux and use open source technologies. They also contribute back to open source. Of the top ten internet sites in the world, nine of them are running on Linux. The exception being Bing. Even strongly proprietary companies benefit off open source. Apple and Microsoft both use or have used open source technologies and benefited from them. Apple's core OS is based off BSD, a free version of Unix made by programmers at Berkeley, and their core kernel is still open source. Microsoft Windows gets its internet capabilities from BSD, which you can read if you ever read the EULA. Because BS, the BSD license does not require that code stays open source, but it does require that people acknowledge that they used it. <coughs> so I've talked about how open source got its start, and how beginning with projects like Firefox and Linux, all companies eventually benefited from open source. 
even those that directly compete with them. The open sharing of information is one of the most important things humans can do. It helps us improve off other ideas and work together for the good of mankind. For some people, open source is just a practice that makes good quality 